Dude, failure and the word no run really synonymously in most people's vocabulary. And you know, I, I've got a, a lot of people I've coached, right? Like executive coaching, alignment coaching, financial coaching, like just so many different things. And in each of those lanes, they often overlap a lot. I do a lot of work with rewriting this. Mm. It comes from schooling, it comes from education, it comes from parents, it comes from sports, like failure as an adjective, perfectly fine. Mm. That was a failure. Mm. That move was a failure. That attempt was a failure. But as a way to describe a human being, right. it doesn't work. Right? It breaks someone in their identity. And what's fascinating is, is we're almost as afraid to say no as we are afraid to fail. Mm. I, had a, I had a client, um, I had her go out and ask ridiculous questions. Like ridiculous, like her job, this, her homework this week was to ask ridiculous questions. And one of the questions, she drove up to this lady walking her dog and was like, she held up her roller skates. She's in her car. So she rolls down her window, already weird, uh -huh. right? This lady's walking her dog, windows down, holds up roller skates and is like, hey, can I come roller skate in your basement? <laughs> <laughs> and the lady, the lady's response wasn't no. The lady's response was, well, there, it's really crowded down there. Wow. Well, really? That, that's your answer? Wow. If someone rolls up, some kid, I was on my motorcycle <laughs> and some kid was like, pop a wheelie. I'm like, no way. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> And, you know, we have a, a weird um, association with no like we do with failure. Mm. No is a very powerful word. It's a very important word. It's a boundary. Yeah. Just like failure is an opportunity for reflection and it's a boundary. Now, that boundary for a lot of people is I'm not good at this and I should stop. Mm. The boundary for me is I'm not good at this. I should start. Mm. Um, people find this fascinating. First time I, I really got on a motorcycle, I crashed. It was like five years after I got my license, I crashed. My like, arm was skinned up, my hip was busted, the bike was busted, I was in Prague, in a foreign country, crashed a motorcycle, right? Not a bad crash, like everything was fine, but you know, scraped up the bike, scraped up me. And I came back from that, I was like, I'm buying a motorcycle. People were like, what? What? You just crashed, what are you doing? What? I think you should stop, you're obviously not good at it. And I was like, yeah, but see, this is the difference between you and I. You see failure as stop. Mm. I see failure as start. And the way that that cycle allows you to grow, if you think of business, when you get a no, if you stop then, you're out. Yeah. You're out of the game. If you hurt yourself in an injury and you stop playing your favorite sport, you've lost. Mm. Right? If you hear a no when you go to make sales and now you think you're a bad salesman so you quit your job, now you're a quitter. And we have such a powerful identity in failure and no that needs to be adjusted. Mm. And it takes a lot of time. I've worked with clients a lot to adjust this. Like, you want to be an entrepreneur? You are going to have to get comfortable with the word no. And you're going to have to get comfortable with failure daily, mm. if not hourly, if not, is minutely a word? <laughs> <laughs> minutely, minutely. <laughs> You, you have to, and those are the, the areas, those are the, the, the periods of your life where you'll grow the most. Mm -hmm. it, it, those are seeds. Failure is a seed. Yeah. For